Hi everybody, welcome to our home. We're living in strange times. Uh, Pastor Phil and Pastor Jan, we'll just so you uh, know who's who. I'm Pastor Phil. And I'm Pastor Jan. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all going to be taking communion together, so I hope you've got everything uh, ready to take that. Yeah, there is power in the Lord's Supper. So we're going to have a, 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 a time together because we are one family. It doesn't matter what country you're in, it doesn't matter where you are in the UK. But we do believe that there is power in taking uh, communion. But first of all, we want to just say how great the NHS are doing there on the front lines. And uh, we just want to pray for them, first of all. Yeah. We want to just, uh, Father, t we pray right now that you will touch every NHS worker mm -hmm. with the power and the anointing of Christ in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. That, Lord, that when they go to work, they're not just going, Father, to do things in the natural, but those that are born again, Father, carry the anointing that removes burdens and destroys yokes. Yeah. And Lord, we know they're not allowed to pray for people actually in the hospital, but Lord, we pray that these people will pray before they actually go to hospital. Yeah. And like we said, we'll carry that burden removing yoke destroying power to kill not just coronavirus, but everything else that's upon a person in Jesus' name. You know, I've, I've been really thinking about um, our NHS uh, staff or people who are out there working and I've started to think, you know what, they seem to have more faith than most of the ministers, the pastors, the vicars and um, the priests or whatever you want to call them and um, I'm not having a, a go at these kind of people but um, I believe it's in Matthew, um, let's, let's just show it straight there first of all and I'll get to it, Matthew 8, we're going to read verses 1 to 3, Pastor Dan's going to read that for us, Matthew 8, 1 to 3. Matthew 8, verse 1 to 3. And it says, When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. I think what we get from that, first of all, is Jesus uh, touched out his hand and touched the leper. Um, he didn't actually say, well, we need to be wise. Let's stop, those wi let's stop trying to use wisdom uh, because we're afraid. Mm. Um, we're, we're a faith-filled church and we're doing what the government's told us to do because we, ha we have no option. But um, Jesus either didn't have any wisdom or he just operated in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And he took this leper and the leper were cleansed. Now, I know some people say, well, that was Jesus. But, you know, we, we, we study the, the John G. Lake. We've got many books on John G. Lake. And uh, this man, I just want to read a little bit I took out of the books. It says, John G. Lake, in the 1900s, in South Africa, it says, people were dying of the bubonic plague while assisting doctors. Let's just, while he was assisting doctors. So he was actually helping the doctors. It says, he was asked why he had no not contracted the disease since he used no protection. He said it's the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. He demonstrated it by allowing them to put the disease on his hand. When they looked under a microscope, the germs were dead. And this is what he said, I carry the cure in my body. It's called the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, I, th I think um, that the, the government are doing uh, a decent job. But we need to really pray in politicians that are born again so we can operate with them. I mean, President Trump, like him or not, he's been having prayer meetings with the, the men and women of God. He's working with them. And we need a government that will work with faith-filled people. That's not a scare to lay hands on lepers or any disease or anything else. You know, if we've got to be wrapped up um, wearing the gloves and the mask, that's fine. But we should still be able to lay hands on those that need hands laying on them. Yeah. This, is, this is more than a natural battle. This is a spiritual battle. There's something behind the scene. But you know, whatever the devil's trying to do and what he's trying to use, because this is not God's wrath on the countries yeah. uh, or the world. That wrath is, is still yet to come. Okay. This is his grace 
and his mercy time. And the devil's trying to stop a move of God. We're about to have breakthrough. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're about to see yeah. the power yes. of the Holy Spirit Amen. move. Yeah. So, you know, don't be condemned. If you, if, if you need to uh, lock yourself away, just do what you need to do. But know this. You're a child of the King. Hallelujah. He's the King of glory. He's the great I am. Amen. Everything that he says he is, he is. And you know what? If I didn't believe that, I would never, ever preach healing again. Never preach healing again. If we can't believe that God can't heal the sick, what is the church all about? But I tell you, it's time for the church to arise and shine. And he's going to have a people who know whom they are in Christ. And anyway, this is not predicting a bread stuff, but it's on my heart. Yeah. So if you're a, a national health worker, or whatever you are today, you go knowing that God is with you. And he will protect you. You read Psalm 91 over, your, over yourself and over your family. You go in the power of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touching lives in the natural, but even more so touching them in the spiritual. We love you guys. Pastor Janet. Hallelujah. I'll talk all night. It's been on my heart. Um, a scripture in Philippians. Philippians chapter 4 <clears throat> verse 6. And it says, Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Not some things. But for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, as Pastor Philip said, we truly need to know who we are Amen. in this time and yeah. in this generation. We're not just ordinary people like the ordinary That's man right. and woman That's in the right. street. We are men and women of God, the called, the anointed ones. Hallelujah. Who is God is going to work through us in this time. You know, when you look at your hands, Look at them as though they're Jesus' hands. Hallelujah. You know, we read that scripture in Matthew. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched that leper. Yes, yes. He weren't afraid. He weren't anxious thinking, no. oh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe, you know, maybe I'll get it. No. He no. acted in faith. Amen. And you know, it's our faith that will carry us through at this time. Yes. It's faith that overcomes the world. And Glory we've got that same faith that Jesus had. Praise Glory me. to God. And all we have to do is use it. It's time to be to be strong and to be action men and women of God at this time. It's not time to be afraid. It's not time to be anxious, to be worried Amen. or fretful. But it's time to be courageous and strong and bold in God. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. You going to read this one? Yeah, okay. Glory to God, hallelujah. God's not forsaken us, church. Hallelujah. This thing will pass. Don't be, don't be fed by fear. What the news media is putting out. There's lots of good things happening. There's people recovering. Yeah. Well, in, in Galatians 3.13, it says that Christ has redeemed Amen. us from the curse of the law. Glory to God. And many of us know that. We've been in church. Christ has redeemed us. He ain't gonna. Yeah. He's already done it. He did it 2,000 years ago at Calvary. We are the redeemed of the Lord. Yeah, and it's time that so. we say so. Amen. 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 You know, what does that mean? Well, if you look in Deuteronomy 28 about what are the curses, and it lists the curse, at, at the beginning it talks about the blessings, but have you read about the curses? And in those curses, everything that may come upon the earth yes. has been covered Glory by the blood of Jesus. We are the redeemed of that. You know, this, this uh, coronavirus, you might think, well, that's not in it. But if you read verse 61, it talks about the diseases. I'll read it to you. And it says, also every sickness and every plague, every plague which are not written in this book of the law, the Lord will bring upon them and destroy them. So it's saying there that every plague has already been paid for as he redeemed us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We should be rejoicing. It doesn't matter what name they give it. That's it's right. under the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus defeated it on the cross 2,000 years ago. And we're going to take these emblems now in remembrance of what Jesus did for us. We'd yeah. just like to... Uh, to... Before you start, can I just say, people might say, well, what's your stance on uh, coronavirus? I, I think you know what our stance is. But just so you know, where coronavirus lives. <laughs> it's under the feet. Yes. Jesus is the head. And we're the body. Yeah. Amen? Amen. I've stuck that on to show you where coronavirus lives. Under your feet. You can trample upon it in Jesus' name. Glory there is no fear to those that are in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
So we are going to take breaking the bread. Uh, we pray we've not um, offended anybody. It's not our job to offend anybody. No. No. But you know what? Fear comes by hearing. The news is feed dripping fear. Mm-hmm. It is bad. Pneumonia is bad. One person dying is bad. But the life of Christ Jesus lives in you Amen. if you're born again. Hallelujah. Sure. Yeah. We may be in the world, but we're not of the world. We're ambassadors for Christ. We don't have to live and take. You know, the Lord says to me, this coronavirus is a bit like a wireless. It's going through the airways. Do not tune into it. Do not take it. You don't have to accept these kind of things. It says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It does not say you won't have any weapons formed against you, but it does say it will not prosper. We believe, because you are here on, on right now, you're going to take a break in the bread with us. See, there's no distance in the spiritual realm. We believe when the storm blows out, you will be still standing. And we don't want you just to take breaking bread for yourself. Mm. You do it for your family members. Sure. Do it for your loved ones. Be wise in the natural. Yeah, do all you can in the natural. But let's start applying the spiritual. Because sure. when we take it down spiritually, we'll see the evidence in this natural yeah. realm. Sure. You want to read that, Pastor? Yeah. And I'm reading uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23. And this is Paul speaking. It says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to show you what victory is. Because they don't want people to talk. This is victory. That's victory. I don't care if my wife or coughing, spluttering, anything else. Victory. Hallelujah. We are one in Christ. Like, if you're married today, you are one in Christ. I, I won't, I won't, if, if my kids are going, I'm not going to say, sorry, I can't touch you. No, 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 no. The anointing, yeah. the same resurrection power hallelujah. that raised yes. Jesus from the dead right. is dwelling in you, See hallelujah. You? Yes. And we can release that anointing to the glory of God, hallelujah. Yeah. Until coronavirus and cancers and any other disease will bow to the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, you know, we pray for people and they're all not being healed. Hold my hands up. But when you've seen blind eyes open, you know that God always comes. Yes. He always heals. The trouble is, we miss it. Yeah. We haven't got the faith or whatever you want to do it. God is a healing God. That's He's right. Abba Father. Amen. So we're, we're going to take breaking the bread and pray that you're going to take it with us. And, and as we finish... Uh, taking a break in the bread we just want to worship the lord a little bit it's singing tongues if you believe in it and you're baptized in it or, or just thanking god hallelujah yeah. that he is our our prayers and that this, this community is remembering all that he's done already his work is finished redemption plan is in place we just need to uh, put, put our faith to it right. and receive all that is done That's it. Father, we just thank you for, for your word, Lord, to us Amen. today. We thank you, Lord, that we are in covenant with you. And this speaks of covenant, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that the covenant that we are, the redeemed of the Lord, that we are, Father, healed and whole, that we are, Father, strong and fit and full of your vitality, yes. Amen. full of your life, Lord, through and through, through us. And Father, we just take these emblems now in remembrance of what Jesus did, Father, 2,000 years ago, as we take this cracker, hallelujah, and we break it in remembrance of his body that was broken for us, and that by his stripes, we were healed. And if we were healed, we are healed. Hallelujah. The body of Christ.
hands, we'll take this cup and we we'll take it in remembrance of his blood that was shed for us. Hallelujah. And that through his blood, hallelujah, we made and cleansed. Thank you for the blood. Just worship the Lord for a bit. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. In Maracanda, Ragged again day. Sinaman, de Manaman, Dalla. We praise you, Lord. You are worthy. You are the I am Kanda Rukuru Katanga. Shimamaman, Darukura Baba. Hey, I know Lavalanda. Worthy of honor, worthy of praise. There's no like you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. Shimara Katunga. We praise you, Lord. Himanananda Rukatanga Sibalanda Rake. Himananda Rukurubadanga Sibalanda. Shimba 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 Rukuku. Hallelujah. Himananda Rukanda Rukanda Rukanda. Ebalanda Rukuruku Tenge, Shabula Mananda Sabule. We praise you, praise you, Lord, Hallelujah. Kanda Rukuruka Tenge, Shimananda Baranda Kuli Bebende Nama, Simula de Mananda Naka. Oh, we worship you, Lord, we worship you. I'm taking this personal say to Lord. Because as you close my churches, as you try to close my people's mouths, I'm about to step in. I'm about to turn things around. Oh yes, 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 things have got to happen. Things need to take place. For the end is near. But for my people, saith the Lord, much favour and blessing is about to abound. You're going to walk in the heights where no generations ever walked in before. You will see the great signs and wonders of miracles of old. But I'll take you to the phenomenal. I'll take you past those things that every generation has done. And you shall walk in the fullness of my glory. Yes, even the dead once again will be raised, saith the Lord. For I will have my time. And my church will arise and shine and be all that I've called it to be. So enter in, saith the Lord. Speak things that are not as though they were. Watch your words. Let your faith come forth. Begin to believe that I am who I say I am. I'm not old somewhere in the past, but I'm there beside you right now, saith the Lord. My arms are encamping round about you. I'm hugging you as a father hugs a child and say, you will come through. You will come through, saith the Lord. And out of this, you shall be a jewel and you shall shine for me, saith the Lord. And I'll take you to the heights where you can't even imagine or dream. You will begin to see things that you've desired and longed to see from years past. Yes, this is my time. Do not be mistaken, saith the Lord. This is my time. And even though there are peddlers of fear, tune in to the words of faith and your faith will become strong and no deadly thing shall come near you because you are in the presence of the Most High God, the Great I Am, the El Shaddai and the Elohim. I am Abba Father who walks with you and talks with you, who lives inside you, saith the Lord. Look inwardly and don't look outwardly, for your redemption draweth nigh, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh,
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are so wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray for, for, for our listeners right now. Yes. Everyone who's tuned in, Father, we pray yes. in the name of Jesus that you will give them an assurance in their heart mm. that their lives are not finished. God, not no, you said you'll you, you, you give us long life. Yes. A life that is satisfying. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. So Lord, we pray your protection. Yes. We plead the blood of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes, over every person and over yes, of their homes yes. and their family members yes. this day yes. in Jesus' name. And just yes. like the, yes. the Israelites did it on their doorpost, Lord, mm. and the destroyer had to pass yes. them by. I decree yes. and I declare yes. once again, yes. I know you always hear me, Father, yes. that the destroyer, this coronavirus, has to pass you by. Yes. For you've been bought with the very blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Mm, and I thank you and praise you, Father. I thank you and praise you for those that are listening. I thank you for my brethren throughout the world, Lord. And some of them, Lord, I ask you, it is a fearful time for some. But Lord, I pray that you'll comfort them in the night hours, hallelujah. Lord, I, I pray, Lord, Lord, that you will fill them full of joy. Fill them full of love. Mm. Fill them full of your peace. That's the path of all understanding. Yeah. Show them good things, pure things, lovely things, things that are true and honest and lovely of good report. Mm. In Jesus' name. Thank you. We, we just bless you right now. We, we thank you. Tom tomorrow, uh, from 8 to 8, we, we, we will be praying. Yeah. Uh, the church, Life Change Church, Doncaster. And there's no church to go to. When this is over, come and see us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. But anyway... <laughs> from 8 tomorrow 8 in the morning tomorrow to late at night keep praying yeah. spend 15 minutes an hour or, or whenever you can I know some of you will be working right now too but keep praying yeah. fast and pray hallelujah believe in this thing's got to bow its knee got to bow its knee amen, amen. one chase a thousand two ten thousand how many of us are praying in the nations right now millions keep praying and keep believing we've got our uh, we've even fixed our Prayer shawls that my, my dad gave, gave me many, many years ago. We'll be actually honouring Israel and, and, and wearing these as well. But you know, uh, I want to finish on a, a, a real good note. I've uh, tasted my wife's new lipstick. It tastes good. <laughs> so we're going to have to switch off and do a bit more kissing. So have a great time, everybody. Stay in faith. Stay in touch. Walk in love. And remember this, that Jesus is Lord. Lord. Bye. God bless everybody. Yeah, God, God bless. bless. God, God bless. bless. We love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.